Hello, children. I am Mrs. Arti Shingari from Kendri Vidyalaya Number no. One, Ahmednagar. Today we will learn the lesson, the little fir tree. It is from Class Four English and CRT books. The little fir tree. Shetty, the magician, was returning home when all of a sudden it began to rain. It rained heavily. Shetty looked around for shelter and saw a pretty little fir tree. He ran towards it as fast as he could. Soon the rain stopped. Shetty was happy that he did not get wet. Thank you. You have been kind to me. I would like to reward you. Ask for four wishes and I will grant them, said the magician. The sad fir tree had leaves like needles and no birds ever made their nests on it. So it said, I wish I had green leaves like my other friends. Next morning, its wish was granted. Soon a goat came along and ate all the green leaves. Oh dear, said the fir tree. I wish I had gold leaves as goats do not eat gold leaves. When the little fir tree woke up the next morning, it was surprised to see gold leaves. How happy I am, it said. A man came along and stole the gold leaves. I wish I had glass leaves instead. Men do not steal glass leaves. The next day, its glass leaves shone in the bright sun. See, children, you can see here, shining glittering. How happy I am, it said. At night, the wind blew. Ooh. All the glass leaves broke. Oh dear, said the fir tree. I like my old needle leaves best, for goats do not eat them. No man can steal them. The wind will do no harm. The tree went to sleep. When it woke up the next morning, it had all its needles back again. Oh, I never was so happy, said the little fir tree. Now children, in this story, you have a very beautiful moral. Children, the moral is that we must be happy with whatever we have. God has given us the best and we should enjoy it. We should never envy with the things others have. God has given everybody some good things and we should be happy. We should be satisfied with that and Enjoy our life. Make our life smooth. Now, you have to tick the correct answer. There are three options given for each question. First question is, the pretty little fir tree was happy with gold leaves. But, there are three options. A goat came along and ate them. All the leaves got wet in rain. A man stole them. Gold leaves means a man stole them. So the third option is correct. The fir tree was sad because it had needle-like leaves. Third, again it is repeated children. It was, the fir tree was not happy with the gold leaves because the man stole them. Now you have to Write the opposites by adding un, un, or im, im. You have to add un or im. Happy, it is unhappy. Important, unimportant. 
so when you add un un or i m m it becomes um, it gives you the opposite opposite word polite it is impolite perfect imperfect seen unseen healthy unhealthy proper improper safe unsafe patient impatient pure impure lucky unlucky like unlike possible impossible clear unclear so you got the opposites now here one more exercise of opposite children there is one paragraph given and you can see here some words are given in blue let blue color so you have to write the opposites first we will write uh, read the passage and then we will see the opposites rita loved her dog sheru so you have to write the opposite of loved every day sheru would go out of house and come back himself but one day he did not come rita looked everywhere for him tears rolled down her cheeks sheru was nowhere he was nowhere to be found rita was crying when she reached home she went into her bed all of a sudden something jumped on her can you guess who it was rita was very happy yes sheru had come back so now these blue colored words we will see the opposites loved hated come go go out come in nowhere everywhere down up lost found happy sad crying laughing so some words you can you get the totally different opposite words and some words you can make opposites by adding u n un or i am in now here in this exercise we have to punctuate what is punctuation punctuation means putting commas full stops invert uh, this uh, capital letters now here in this first paragraph some words are given in small letters only here in this you have to write the capital letters full stops and commas are given now where you have to write full uh, capital letters see children whenever you write any new sentence any new question you have to start the sentence new sentence new paragraph new question new answer with a capital letter first thing is this second thing is whenever you write proper noun proper noun means name proper name of somebody or some city or some country river mountain proper name then you have to use capital letter so capital letters have to be used twice once in when when you start a new paragraph or a new sentence a new answer or a new question and secondly whenever you write somebody's name it is not only human beings you can write the names of cities countries animals animals also you saw in the last paragraph sheru wherever sheru was written s was written as capital letter so any name you have to write first letter as capital letter here so when you start one saturday afternoon one means you start a new sentence so o should be capital again saturday is a name of the day monday tuesday wednesday it is name to the days given so you have to use capital letter then amarjit it is a name of a boy so you have to use capital letter again rani it is a name of a girl you have to use the capital letter india gate it is a place in delhi so you have to use capital letter 
so where you have to use capital letter when you start a new sentence or when you write the proper noun here there is paragraph given it is from the textbook and you have to punctuate oh dear said the fir tree i like my old needle like leaves for goats don't eat them and no one no man can steal them now here one thing you will study that whenever you write if somebody is saying something if it is given in his um, language like he says i like my old like needle like leaves means when i am saying when you are writing of somebody saying then you have to put that in inverted commas that is very important oh dear again this is put it in inverted commas and said the fir tree because it is said by the fir tree so if somebody says something you have to put that in inverted commas and then full stop commas capital letters you have to pay attention to it now again the opposites here there are some sentences given in those sentences some words are encircled you have to write the opposite of those those encircled words like light it is given as an example light heavy one love you have to write the opposites one by one so first light the opposite is heavy in second sentence rena won the race you will write rena lost the race same sentence you have to write but with this opposite word of the encircled word i love eating vegetables i hate eating vegetables it is by mistake hated it is actually hate h a t e i hate eating vegetables this glass of milk is full this glass of milk is empty full empty the old man is wise the old man is foolish so these are the opposites now children if you like my teaching if you like grammar part of it please like share and subscribe my channel avipriya thank you children